Hello, my name is Jaden Blaze Ellis. My name is Clara Hong. Yeah, and can you guys tell me a little bit more about your project? Sure. Um, our project is based in Unity, coded in C Sharp, and it's all custom graphics, hand drawn, and it's a 2D platformer style game. Yeah, uh, I would love to give it a try if I can. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. You can hit start game. It yeah, will, sure thing. Um, or there's also a tutorial if you want to see how the yeah, controls I'm work. Yeah, I'm going to start with the tutorial. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, That makes sense. A lot of people have been skipping it today. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> All right, awesome. So it says here, let's see, use the arrow keys to move left and right. Okay, got it. Yeah. And then press space to jump. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the stand the color platforms get power ups, and I start with three lives. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. All right. So now, if you hit start game. All right, sure thing. You can see there's different levels, and you can see your high scores or our high scores for each of those levels. Gotcha. So I should probably start off with number one. Yeah. All right, sure thing. Wow, this looks amazing. Can you tell me a little bit more about the graphics while I give it a go? Yeah, we, we both made them. Um, Claire made like the mushroom in the background. I did like spikes, some of the platforms. Uh, and oh, I fell off. <laughs> we'll try again, we'll try again. <laughs> yeah, uh, we made these with just like an online pixel art generator. Not generator, words are hard. Uh, like program you can design in. And yeah. We have little bits of dialogue at the end because we wanted to give yeah. each character life. So you just go through the dialogue. Gotcha. And then you can exit to menu to choose a new level. Okay. Yeah, let's try out the next level here. Um, so this blue platform will give you twice your normal speed. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, and it's really fast. when you mix it with red, you will jump higher. And wow, bigger. that is actually really clever. So the purple means you got both the blue power up and the red yeah. power up. That's awesome. And the colors yeah. actually mix uh, the way light does instead of the way paint does because we had green instead of blue. So, gotcha. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and if you get all the colors, there's a little surprise. Gotcha. Oh, I think I th can touch that one. All right, let's see if we can yeah. get around the spikes over there. I really love how you guys thought about mixing the colors together with the different power ups. Thank you. Yeah. And while I try to pass this obstacle, can you guys tell me about a bug or an issue that you guys had to overcome while making this project? Yeah. Um, uh, we had an issue with. Um, well, that was a good one. Uh, we had a lot of trouble getting the player to be able to like jump and move around to like know where the floor was and when they were grounded. Um, so we ended up using, um, you, it's sending like a ray from the player down and if it hits the ground, then it knows that it's on the floor and then it's allowed to jump. Um, but we had some trouble oh. <laughs> with that. Um, there was a lot of like changing the hitboxes and making everything work properly. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. And then I guess on the flip side of things, what part of this project are you most proud of? I think, this is going to sound very funny, but I'm just glad that we have something that's kind of working. Right, right. <laughs> no, that totally makes sense. I mean, especially when you have so many moving parts of the game, right? Yeah. From the graphics to the animations mm -hmm. to the actual game mechanics and then the power-ups. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of moving parts. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also really proud that we got to, as you said, add a lot of like our own touches with moving parts as well. We got to make our own characters, our own graphics. Mm -hmm. And I just really love that this project gave us like a lot of room for creativity, in a sense. Right. And speaking of creativity, I was wondering if you guys had a source of inspiration for this because I mean this is like a very, you know, well developed plot line with, you know, a unique theme behind the graphics and everything. So I was just curious, like what was your creative inspiration behind this? Um Part of my inspiration was I've been playing so much Hollow Knight the last few months, which was where I got the idea to do like a 2D platformer. Uh, to be honest, the idea about colors and like restoring them and mixing them and starting in grayscale came from a children's book we read at uh, the summer camp I work at. Yeah. Um, which was all about like find like there there were like these pipes that would leak paint and like it was all about teaching kids how like color mixing works. But right, right. Um, which is where the idea initially came from. Um, I think it was your idea to do mushrooms, right? I actually, I got the idea of doing mushrooms because my TikTok feed is full of them. Mm. <laughs> There's really not that's much a pretty, That's a really good that. reason, yeah. I mean, you've seen a lot, right? So you want to add it to your game. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, I guess, you know, with such a fun game like this, do you guys have any plans for releasing it to the public or adding some extra levels or features in the future? Um, maybe. I don't know. I. This idea started as something I was planning to develop on my own, and then uh, when the project came around, I was like, oh, this would be a good time to do that. I would definitely consider expanding it eventually. Yeah. I don't know. It'd be cool. We haven't really talked about it. I know. That's yeah. totally valid. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks so much again for showing me this. This is super fun, and great job with everything from like the graphics to the game mechanics. Like I, I'm super blown away by the fact that you can mix the colors together and visually see the combination of power-ups. Like, to me, that's just such a creative, fun idea. Thank you. So again, great job. Yeah. And this is CS50.